got a mystery box. And only the real... I don't even have the mic plugged in. Damn it! Those of you that know me very well know that I love vintage clothing. If you've noticed in my videos, I try to wear pretty cool t-shirts. I don't like to spend money on like designer or really nice things. I like a good vintage shirt or jacket or whatever. And also those of you that have been around for a long time know the thrift shop Thrive. Ed, the thrift shop Thrive that I went to in Boston a few months ago. Well, they sent me a mystery box. So yeah, this is kind of an ad. I guess, maybe a little bit. To be honest, I probably would have bought this anyway because I texted my man and I said, yo, my closet's dry. And he hit me back and he was like, I'm so glad that you texted me because I have something for you. So today we're gonna open this and we're gonna look at what we got. But uh, first I, uh, knife. Wake up and smoke and look up into the clouds. I stay for a while, but then I'm finna bounce. Uh, feeling drowsy, I'm going home now. I'm gonna get half an ounce and go smoke some love. Don't play with knives like this. Imagine. Oh shit. This is just a bad idea. I yeah. This man sealed this thing with power. Ah! Yeah. I'm gonna get a different chair that doesn't squeak like this. By the amount of errors that I've made so far, you should probably understand that I don't really plan out my videos before I make them. All right, first piece. We got the Giants crew neck. Yeah, so for those of you that don't know, I'm a Giants fan, really like the Giants. You know when a tag, <laughs> when a tag is piss yellow, that's how you know it's old and extremely vintage. Does I have a date? Dates are my favorite. Ugh, no date, but I'm gonna go ahead and say this is easily a 90s piece. Fire. Okay, what are these? Balenciagas. These these are Balenciagas. What the f Dude, I know you guys didn't send me Balenciagas. Dude, these are, first of all, they're very dirty. Oh my Lord. This is the only pair of designer shoes that I have now. There's no way these are gonna fit me though. This is where my knowledge is really lacking. I don't really know anything about designer shoes or clothing or really anything designer related, but wow. Was not expecting that. Hey, they hit me with the Mark McGuire toy. Hey, the, the little Mark McGuire toy. I'm pretty sure when I was a kid, um, the, I always saw the Mark McGuire commercials where he would like, Not this time. I got the Vortex power back. Not really too much into toys, but this fire. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Cocktails. <laughs> Cocktails? Cocktails? Demonetize. 1985. This thing is in incredible condition. I mean, even the tag, you can see it's like really, really in pristine condition. Couple, couple stains, a, a lot of stains all over it, but you know what? With vintage clothing, you got to roll the dice a little bit. It's going to be a little bit dirty, okay? Just deal with it. This, I'm liking this. For those of you that haven't really picked up on it, I really like colors. You can see on the bottom left that it had a date, but it washed off. This tag, in case you guys are interested in getting into thrifting, this tag, the, the best tag, Fruit of the Loom, the black one, that always means vintage, like 90s, early 2000s. This is fire though, this is crazy. Love the rainbows on there. Little faded, you know, but that's kind of what happens. But for the most part, it's in pretty good condition, and this car is dope. Got the multicolored flames, we got the little Elvis guy up in the uh, top right and left corners. Okay, okay. Adam Fulch. No way. <laughs> the Sum 41 T? My man Disorder knows exactly what I like. The Sum 41 T? I loved punk growing up. Sum 41 was actually one of my favorite punk bands. I love the emo bands. I love metal, hardcore, really everything. But obviously rap was my number one. But this Sum 41 shirt, this is definitely the favorite so far. Oh brother. Oh brother. Oh, you know. You know we had to go crazy with the polo sport jacket, but Sort of like a windbreaker, but a little bit thicker than that. Probably a little bit more uh, water repellent rather than wind repellent. Nothing crazy, nothing too flashy, but a nice touch. This looks like a bear shirt. This is another polo sport one. 
Okay, got the orange stripes on it. I never seen this Polo Sport tag actually in the bottom left. The buttons on the front, not really too crazy about th those right there. Not really too crazy about this pocket. This has Convolk written all over it. So Convolk, if you want this, hit me up and I'll gift it. Oh my God, there's so much more. Okay, had to hit me with the Bruce Springsteen tee. Yeah, 1999 tour with the little logo on the back. Y'all know I'm from New Jersey, so gotta show love to pretty much the biggest artist to ever come out of New Jersey. Don't have any Bruce Springsteen merch, but I will proudly rep for New Jersey. What is this, a Target shirt? Bruh, I swear, if y'all sent me a Target, what? Chanel Target? Yo, what is this? Pizza Slime. This must be a brand that I am not aware of. Pizza Slime? I'm sorry my, my knowledge is lacking on that, but this is the back. Got the, got the Target, got the Chanel logo with Target print on the back and then the Target logo with the Chanel on the front. That's crazy. I was so surprised because I just saw Chanel first. This is so sick. This is like the coolest thing. I'm so hyped right now. <laughs> Yo. If y'all want to go like cop a mystery box, I think they're doing it for like 50 bucks. Probably won't be as big as this one. Obviously they hooked it up a little bit fat because of the video, but you get to customize it. You could do it sports flavored. <laughs> The first thing I thought of was flavored. You can do it sports themed. You tell them, okay, I like these brands, um, this size. I like these colors. I want this. I want shorts. I want whatever. And they'll customize it to your liking, but they got to keep it a mystery. You know what I'm saying? So if you like vintage clothing, that's the spot. It's my spot. It should be your spot. That sounded like such an ad. Oh my God. But it kind of, I mean, let's, let's be honest. It was. What do we got here? Mammoth Lakes? This has to be like an old shirt. What did y'all send me? This thing has more holes in it than Swiss cheese, bro. What? It's literally a see-through shirt. I can't wear this. I will get flamed if I wear this. And this giant rip on the back, yo. Was this a joke? This was a joke. This was definitely a joke for the, this was for the memes. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pass on that one. Hanson, I'm gonna keep it a stack. I don't know Hanson. It's a cool album cover, but it's three dudes that I don't know. Ooh. Oof. This a beefy one. And no, this isn't some reprinted garbage. This is an actual vintage Iron Maiden shirt. There's a date down there, but it's impossible to read. I think it says 2002. That would make sense. Best of the beast. Bro, I've wanted an Iron Maiden shirt so bad, but I just didn't want to get something reprinted that makes me look like a poser, so. Let's go. Dude, there's so much stuff in here. Oh, I already know what this is. Oh my lord. Bruh. 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 This is so hard. Pause. <laughs> yes. Dude, I've wanted a Polo Sport USA piece for so long. This one is so hype. With the blue top? Yo, this goes crazy. Oh my it's in such good condition. It's like super heavy. You could probably substitute that for a sweatshirt on just like a nice, a light breezy day, partly sunny, 67 degrees with a three mile per hour wind. That'll be your perfect shirt. We got here, Polo Country. Oh, we got our, uh, okay. We just got a light little long sleeve, you know? Something for the frat boys out there. Whenever I go to a frat party with my chads and my brads, I could throw this one on. Whenever I go over to Zeta Beta Tomato, that'll be my shirt of choice. Polo again. It's a oldie. Can y'all see that polo logo? Where is it? This side? Yeah. Nice little beat up old polo. Pretty hard. Giant hole on the front though. Not gonna hold you. There's a giant hole on the front, but either way, solid piece. I think somebody did play rugby in this because it's kind of dirty, but it's how we like it. Just the classic. Nothing flashy, nothing crazy, but definitely vintage and a maroon color, but just the polo sport, the classic, you know? You can't, you can't go wrong with one of these. Damn, tons and tons of fire. I think I'm gonna go ahead and say that the Chanel Target one is my favorite just because that was totally a left field one that I was not expecting. But realistically, my favorite is gonna be the Polo USA because it's so classic, long sleeve, nice and thick. The biggest wild card was really these because these go crazy. Damn. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I love doing things like this. I wish I could go to more thrift stores and film it if you guys would be interested in that. I really feel like thrifting could be a part of the underground culture a little bit or maybe just a part of my channel. 
who knows shout out to the guys at thrive definitely go check out what they have to offer go see their products and their mystery boxes like i said fully customizable you just pick your size and you tell them what you kind of like and just tell them that you came from my video that's all you got to do my name is patrick cc i'm out I, I couldn't really get out of the way in time.